Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and I'm going to be showing you 10 awesome ways to make the roll outfits actually look good. So as many people actually know, the roll outfits, so Moonshiner, Bounty Hunter, Naturalist, Trader, blah blah blah, all of those outfits actually have some of the most unique and interesting looking pieces of clothing in the game. Unfortunately, they're not individual pieces, so you just have to use the outfits. But that being said, you can mix and match tops and bottoms, you can swap out hats and accessories, so you can actually make some of these outfits look pretty dang good. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 outfits, so just two for each roll, that look really, really good if you modify them the way I have. So uh, let's just dive on in and start off with the first outfit. So here we have the Moonshiner one. So it's the first variation of the Moonshiner outfits. And now obviously for each and every single one of these outfits, the specific uh, class that it's in, so for this one it's Moonshiner, uh, the way to unlock the items to make up this outfit is to level up your roll in that one. So for this one it's Moonshiner. So you have to get your Moonshiner roll leveled up to the point where you unlock the outfits necessary for the parts, and then you can purchase them and make these outfits. So that will be true for every outfit in this video. So uh, it's pretty simple. Let me just show you how you make this one. So as you can see, when we go into the roll outfits, uh, you can see it's right here under outfits, you've got roll outfits. And so there it will list each and every single one of the different uh, outfits for each roll. So you can see there's four for the Moonshiner roll, four for the, well, actually more for the Bounty Hunter, I think five. Yeah, five for the Bounty Hunter, four for the Collector, four for the Trader. And then there are four Naturalist ones, but the, the highest level Naturalist Naturalist one costs gold, and I think it looks terrible, so I don't have it, so I just have these three. But uh, yeah, so that's where you can see each and every one of those. But then once you're in there, you can also go into upper and lower garments, so it allows you to mix and match different ones from each roll. Now you can't mix a collector with a bounty hunter, but you can mix a moonshiner with a different moonshiner. So what we're doing for this first one is we're going to be using the Wilkesboro uh, upper garment, and we're using this third variant of it, so the black coat, green shirt with uh, all the red accents. So that's what we're going to want to have for the upper garment. And then for the lower garment, we're going to be using the first variant of the Gatlinburg uh, pants and shoes, basically. So it's just uh, in an attempt to make a good looking outfit, which I think this is the best way to go. So uh, those are the upper and lower garments for this one. Then for the hat, we're going to be subbing out uh, the one that it comes with. With If you just use the Moonshiner outfit, it'll put a different hat on. So we're going to take that one off and we're going to put on the red short stovepipe top hat. We're going to add the white uh, riding gloves, so the ninth variant of the riding gloves. And for weapon equipment, we're going to use the Levens gun belt, this uh, third variant. It's black and silver. This is, again, this is another Moonshiner item. So if you want to unlock this gun belt, you're going to have to level up the Moonshiner roll and purchase it. And that is all the items that make up the first Moonshiner outfit. So as you can see, this outfit looks pretty dang fancy, which is what I was going for. It's probably one of the fanciest looking outfits you can make in the game. And for it, you just have to basically get your Moonshiner roll up. And the the reason I like this one better than the stock ones is because A, I don't like the hat for the stock ones, and B, the, uh, the highest level Moonshiner outfit has a really nice uh, torso covering, so the coat looks really cool. But the pants and shoes for it don't match, and they look bad with it. So you swap it out for the Gatlinburg pants and then it looks great. So that's the first outfit. Let's move on to the second. So here we have the second Moonshiner outfit. For this one, we're going to be using the Pittsburgh top and we're going to be using this one that has the uh, blue vest. And we're also going to be using a, a color of the Pittsburgh bottoms, but we're not going to be using the ones that go with it. We're going to be using the second variant so we can have the uh, sort of uh, brown and green and red look to it with the matching reddish brown shoes. Then for the hat, we're going to use this gray variant of the bowler hat. For eyewear, we're going to add the brass spectacles, which can be purchased from Madman Nazar. We're going to put the Carthage ring on the uh, left hand and the Tearingham ring on the right hand. And for weapon equipment, we're once again going to use the silver and black Levens gun belt. And so there we have the entire second outfit. And so this is Moonshiner 2, and I think it looks very nice. So again, for this outfit, it's just going to be some minor changes to the core outfit. The hat looks better when we change it like this. It looks nice when we add the glasses. The rings out a little bit. And uh, I think the colors match a little bit better than just the stock one when you go with the, the plain Moonshiner outfit like this. Uh, so yeah, this one would be great for like a, a bank teller, piano player, bartender, whatever, you know, it just kind of fits all of those type of roles. So that is Moonshiner 2. All right, and so here we have Bounty Hunter 1, and I think this one looks really good. So uh, to make up this outfit, we're going to be using the second variant of the Wakeny top. It's this one with the, the gray jacket, reds, like the red neck scarf, uh, gold buttons. And then for the bottom, we're going to be using this uh, fifth variant of the Thargood uh, bottom. So this is going to be from the highest level outfit, and uh, it matches the color scheme. So we've got the darker gray pants, lighter gray 
gray boots and the like red accents on the hips. For the hat with this outfit, we're going to be going with this red variant of the Liberty hat. For the gloves, we're going to use the third variant of the Thoragood gloves, these uh, gray ones with the gold, uh, gold or brass, look, uh, brass looking accents. And to get these gloves, you're going to need the Thoragood outfit, which is another bounty hunter outfit. And for weapon equipment, we're going to be using the uh, third variant of the Regent gun belt, this uh, gray and nickel or something, kind of silverish looking one, and the matching offhand holster. And so that is the outfit in its entirety. So this is a perfect example of how uh, there are a lot of cool items in the bounty hunter outfits that you can get, but uh, I think that they look pretty cringe when you use them stock, but this one I think looks pretty dang cool. Uh, some people might not like the tons of buckles on the boots, but the color matches really, really well, and the Wakeny top is actually one of the cooler looking coats in the game overall. Plus, I think it all pairs rather well with the Liberty hat, which looks a lot better than the stock bounty hunter hats. So that is how you make the first variant of a good looking bounty hunter outfit. And here we have Bounty Hunter 2. So to make this one, you're going to want to use the fourth variant of the upper for the Bullard outfit. So it's this uh, white and gray one. And for the lower part, we're going to be using the fourth variant of the Carthage outfit. So the pants and boots that match uh, the colors very, very well for the upper torso or for the upper garment. For the hat, we're going to use this uh, reddish brown variant of the Cayuga hat. For eyewear, I like to include an eye patch with this one since it's supposed to be uh, like a more grizzled and experienced bounty hunter. So it's kind of cool to be missing an eye. And I like the Rafferty eye patch. So if you have that one, it's definitely the one I like best. But if you don't have that one, uh, this black variant of the Red Heart eye patch works equally equally well, and you can buy this one from Madden Nazar. For gloves, we're going to be using the Thorogood gloves again, this time the sixth variant, so they match the outfit and color. And again, to get these, you're just going to need to buy the Thorogood outfit that has this color gloves. And then for weapon equipment, we have the second variation of the Guerrero gun belt and the matching offhand holster. And so there we have the entire Bounty Hunter 2 outfit. And I think you'll agree that, again, this one looks quite a bit better than the stock Bounty Hunter outfit. We're able to use some of the cooler items, again, like this coat, which is very cool and comes with its own nicer-looking band bandolier and upper belt that the that we can't imitate with the bandoliers in the game and this one actually sits nice and close to the clothing itself and all of the colors coordinate very well and again I think the hat looks a lot better than the one that comes with these outfits uh, as stock. So that is uh, the second bounty hunter outfit. And here we have Collector 1. So for this one we're going to be using the first variant of the Londonderry uh, outfit so for the upper part and again these ones are collector outfits so to get unlock the pieces used in these outfits you're going to need the collector roll and get it leveled up until you unlock these outfits. And then we're going to pair the fifth variant of the Wallingford uh, lower portion with it. So we're trying to match the color and obviously I like the way the footwear and the half chaps look on this one. Then for the hat we're going to be using the Dedham hat and uh, this one if you want to get it you have to purchase the Dedham outfit from Madman Nazar. If you don't want to use this one then the brown varmint hat would work uh, but the Dedham hat looks better. Then for gloves since I like this outfit for sort of a cavalry or scout looking thing uh, I like to pair the light tan cavalry gloves with it. And then for weapon equipment, we have the black embossed gunslinger gun belt. So there we have the Collector 1 outfit in its entirety. So here we have another great example of pieces from outfits that don't generally look good put together to make a great looking outfit. Like I said, I like this one as sort of a plains cavalry scout or something like that because it just kind of has that vaguely military feel to it. And if you pair this hat, which obviously has that going for it, uh, I think it helps even more. So this is a great looking outfit and it's decently easy to make. And so here we have Collector... Uh, uh, outfit number two. For this one, we're going to be using the fifth variant of the Gladewater upper portion of the outfit and the third variation of the London Dairy lower portion. So you can see we're coordinating colors and keeping sort of a uniform feel to the outfit. Then for the hat, we're going to be using the 11th variation of the Bartley hat, this sort of reddish one. I was very excited to put this outfit together because I don't typically have any reasons to use this hat, at least not usually, and I think it looks really good with this outfit. Then for the gloves, we have the fourth variant of the London Dairy gloves. So again, uh, this is another collector item so you need the London Dairy outfit to unlock these gloves you just purchase the one that has these this color gloves and then you unlock these gloves and for the weapon equipment we have one of my favorite gun belts the brown studded bandit gun belt so there you have tr uh, collector outfit number two in its entirety now with this one I'm not exactly sure what sort of theme this outfit follows I really like it it could be another scout sort of one but the hat kind of makes it look a little bit different I'm not really sure what this one's supposed to be maybe some sort of a uh, surveyor or something hard to say but I really like the way it looks so that is collector outfit number two. So here we have trader outfit number one. So for this one we're going to be using the first variant of the Monterey upper torso covering outfit part. Uh, this kind of light tan buckskin looking one. And we're also going to be using the Monterey uh, lower portion but instead of the dark 
blackish blue ones that come with this outfit, we're going to pair this uh, the lighter buckskin looking one so it matches the upper torso. Then we're going to use the second variant of the raccoon hat. And of course, if you don't have this, there are several other hats, uh, like the one that is a badger or stuff like that. Basically, the hats that you can get from uh, Gus by turning in animal carcasses and then you can buy them but i think the raccoon hat looks the best with this outfit then we're going to pair the third variation of the workman's gloves these sort of dark brownish black leather looking ones and for weapon equipment we're going to use the second variant of the thorburn gun belt and so there we have the trader one outfit in its entirety and so for this outfit we have uh what i think looks like a really nice frontiersman fighting Kentuckian style outfit. So I feel like this is good for a lot of different types of roleplay and it looks really cool. Much cooler than the stock trader outfit uh, for the Monterey looks. So that is the trader outfit number one. Of course, following our pattern, here we have trader outfit number two. For this one, we're gonna be using the fourth variant of the Sunderland upper garment, this uh, light tannish beige looking one. And we're gonna be using the fourth variant of the Worthington lower uh, outfit part, this sort of brown striped looking one with the uh, two-tone brown boots. Then for the hat, we're going to use the clean black stalker hat. For the gloves, we're going to use the black variant of the range gloves. And for the weapon equipment, we're going to use the black variant of the studded explorer gun belt. And so there we have the Trader 2 outfit in its entirety. And so this one, I think, again, turns out looking pretty good. I like to think of this one sort of as a early American, so, or maybe a Texan, so maybe someone in the Mexican-American War. I think the Alamo, that sort of time period. I just like the way it looks, and I think it fits that type of role. And again, quite a bit better than the stock Trader outfit that this uh, upper portion comes from. So that is trader outfit number two. So here we have naturalist outfit number one. And yes, I know you're surprised, but you can actually make decent looking outfits out of the naturalist outfits. So for this outfit, we're going to be using, starting with the sixth variant of the upper for the upper garment, we're going to be using the sixth variant of the Sagemore outfit, the one with this red vest and like the blue neckerchief slash necktie looking thing. And we're going to be using the third variant of the Tilliston uh, lower garment. So the one with the clean black pants with the reddish looking boots. Then we're going to be pairing the last variant of the Drifter hat, this light uh, beige-ish off-white looking one. And for the weapon equipment, we're going to be using the red variant or reddish brown variant of the embossed horsemanship gun belt. And so there we have the naturalist outfit number one. And I think you'll agree it's actually shockingly good considering how bad most of the naturalist uh, clothing looks. So for this outfit again I'm not really sure on a theme I just really wanted to make some using the naturalist clothing since uh, just I mean even I don't use it much because it all looks pretty goofy but if you pair it like this and swap out the hat with something normal and you uh, kind of mix and match to make the colors work a little bit better I think it actually looks pretty dang good. You could I mean you could be some sort of a scientist with this one actually a real naturalist someone who studies animals and takes down information about them, not someone who's crazy like Harriet. Uh, but you could do all sorts of stuff, and I think this outfit looks pretty dang cool. And all the colors coordinate rather well, so it's a, it's a nice looking outfit. So that is naturalist outfit number one. Let's move on to the last outfit we're going to be looking at today. And so here we have naturalist outfit number four. For this one, we're going to be using the sixth variant of the Tilliston uh, outfit for the upper torso, and we're going to be using the third variant of the Sagemore uh, lower torso, so this one with the black pants and uh, kind of reddish brown boots. So similar to the last one, but from a different outfit. Then for the hat we're going to be using the third variant of the common flat cap so this clean black variant then for the gloves we're going to use the black variant of the riding gloves so this uh first one and for the weapon equipment we're going to use the first variant of the woven pistol gun belt so this sort of reddish variant with the black holster and so there we have the naturalist uh outfit number two in its entirety so for this one i was kind of going for more of an urban look so you can tell from the flat cap and i even paired some gloves with it i think it looks pretty good for maybe i don't know a reporter or something it's hard to say what this one looks good for but it is a nice looking outfit Outfit. And again, like all of these outfits I've showed you today, it has a lot more unique components than most of the stuff you can make. So uh, basically the whole point of this video was just to show you that even though most of the roll outfits look bad as they are, you can actually alter them to look pretty cool. Like I said, a lot of times it comes down to something as simple as changing out the hat and just making sure the colors coordinate a little bit better. And if you do that, you can have some great looking outfits. And I think all of the ones that I showed you in this video are great looking outfits. So uh, that is all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, leave those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already and you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell today, as it's helping out the channel a lot and it's the only way to see everything that I upload going forward. Uh, but with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.